ectopic pregnancy today we're going to be talking about ectopic pregnancy even if you're you're single single woman even if you're a man you will learn a lot from this because there are some certain things that we do as single ladies that may impede you that will cause ectopic pregnancy for you in the nearest future okay so i'm going to tell you the causes of ectopic pregnancy and the treatment okay uh my name is nurse Marys and i'm a nephrology nurse this um, lady asked about ectopic pregnancy and the doctors has decided to operate her and she is scared if that is the best thing to do now let's talk about this ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy is simply means when a fertilized egg did not develop in the uterus okay that is your womb so the fertilized egg gets stuck at the fallopian tubes in the way it's trying to get to the um, uterus but it, it, it didn't get there so it's developed at the your fallopian tube or any part that is not your uterus okay so most importantly the cost when ectopic pregnancy when you allow the ectopic pregnancy to continue developing in the fallopian tube the fallopian tube can bulge and burst causing lots of bleeding like the person can if it's an emergency you know so if you're having ectopic pregnancy and you've been told to do something come for an operation or stuff or so please listen to your doctor okay so now let's talk about causes of ectopic pregnancy number one sexual transmitted infection for instance gonorrhea um pelvic inflammatory disease this is number one causes of this when this is left pid is left treated your you know um it can cause scarring of your fallopian tubes and getting pregnant will be difficult and it results usually results to ectopic pregnancy because the egg gets stuck in that lining as you can see in this um picture this is where the baby is supposed to develop in your uterus but it's developing in the fallopian tube so number two when you have issues with your fallopian tubes for instance blocked fallopian tubes and all this can cause ectopic pregnancy or when you just had um a surgery or something you know um, tubal surgery where either they are on unblock your fallopian tubes or any kind of tubal surgery it can cause ectopic pregnancy the next thing is very important is smoking any kind of smoking whether secondary smoke because most ladies um they don't smoke but they stay where people are smoking they go to club they go to people actively stay where people are, are smoking this smoke is not necessarily tobacco which is cigarettes that is rampant it can be vaping it can be shisha if you're smoking, it can increase your chance of ectopic pregnancy in the nearest future. Please be aware of this and other causes. Please, if you don't know how to treat PID, pelvic inflammatory disease, I have a video on that on my YouTube channel. Please make sure you watch it. And miscarriage, I have a video on my YouTube channel. Causes of recurrent miscarriage, very important. Please watch it. Now, the next thing is hormonal imbalance. This can impede you. It can make you have ectopic pregnancy. The um, previous ectopic pregnancy, it's quite possible that if you had an ectopic pregnancy before, it's quite possible to have it again, except measures are taken in place. Now, treatment of ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic pregnancy can be treated in either two ways, through medication or through surgery, depending on the doctor's discretion, on the type and what is and at what stage and what is going on. There's a stage where it needs to, you need to be surgically removed the you know products of conception and there are stages where they just simply give you a drugs to stop the cells from forming okay please however the case is do not take it lightly if you're having chances um that you're having ectopic pregnancy which symptoms of that you're having ectopic pregnancy which could be vomiting severe pain especially in, at your groin okay and bleeding that is not like your period please and for pregnant ladies that are spotting or bleeding during pregnancy i think that i have a video here locate causes why you may bleed during pregnancy and this is me to me praying to all married women all ladies seeking to have the fruit of the womb that god will visit all of you at your knees and he will provide he will give you you will so carry your baby in jesus name amen please like share follow for more let me know if you have more questions and drop it on the comment section